We're diving in. Let me stop. All right, Harold Halibut. Also, this game does take controller, so I will be playing with the controller. Full game. Fight it. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Just contact your nearest, uh, and all water will make it up to you. Now wait a minute. Now, did this leave off where we ended on the demo? I think this ended on the demo. Oh, that is dope, if that's the case. That's dope. I think that's the case. I think this ended off on the demo. So for those that don't remember, I should probably link the demo to this. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Retreat to the lab. Yeah. Hey, Professor. Oh, are those the new teacups? Come and see for yourself. Oh, I promise I ordered them. Harold, just look. Everyone's so mean to him. Yeah, this is where the demo ended. Oh, I love that for us. What's in there? When you are lost in the dark, you have to go deeper to find your way out. The Light Keeper. Most intriguing. I'm irregular. So, if the Light Keepers could get the rock, and they knew we wanted it, that means that, uh, they must be someone who... Harold, it's late, and we've had enough excitement for one day. Let's leave the theories until tomorrow. Sure. I'm just happy that whoever they are, they're on our side. Okay, Loki, I forgot who the light keepers are. Now. Good night, Harold. See you in the morning. Okay. Night, Professor. Y'all, okay. I gotta look it back in my notebook. Oh, look at the photo. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. I gotta. Interesting. And that space. Okay. Oh, it's a game. Oh no, it's not. I thought they had like an like a journal or like a you know. No. Okay. So I forgot who the light keepers are. Um, I forgot who the light keepers are, but that's okay. What are we supposed to be doing now? No, oh, it's time to sleep. Who's Coco? I just really lost his bird friend. I should keep an eye out for. Oh, Coco. It's. My bed down here. Oh, my bed is down here. Okay, so I'm remembering. There we go. 
Time for bed. Signing off. Gosh, whoever made that leak must be feeling pretty terrible right now. I'm glad it wasn't me messing up for once. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Eighteen two eighteen two fifty two AC. It's a new day. I almost never see him eat. Oh, Professor! And what time do you call this? Uh, good morning, Professor. The time is... I know what the time is. There's lots to be done. How are we going to find out who the light keepers are? I'm just as curious as you, Harold, but we have better things to do. I suppose you're right. How can I help? You can start by taking the rope to Bridget. She'll make the necessary preparations for analysis, which you should be able to handle. Okay, great. I'll get right on it. And Harold, try to remember that whoever the light keepers are, our jobs here are to make life more stable for the people here, not less. I know. I know. I'll get going. Oh, look at her little Birkenstocks. That's all her little sandals. Hi, Shammy. Shammy, welcome to Harold Halibut. This is a new indie game. This is a stop motion, all hand painted, hand made video game. Look at the magnificence of this video game. What am I doing? I'm going to Bridget. <laughs> and I forgot who the light keepers are. So this, um, I played the demo of this like weeks back. And I'm really glad that the full game picks you up like right where the demo ends, but at the same time, I don't remember a lot about the demo. So I have to go back and watch my own stream, low key. I didn't want to press that. I didn't want to press that. I wanted to go out this damn door. There we go. Um. Cause I don't remember who the light keepers are. I just remember at the end, I remember Harold and the professor, they were like listening in on the big, the big presidential lady. And um, I don't know. I have to go back and watch my stream. That's, that's really bad. But um, it was some, it was some interesting stuff. Who's Bridget? I forgot who's Bridget. At the energy harvest. I had better get rolling. Okay, energy harvest. Okay. okay. I don't remember who Bridget is. Washroom. Level two. Okay, there's a toilet. What's down here? Filtration pump. Oh, it's so pretty. Observatory. 
I can't. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Oh my god, I gotta cough again. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I don't think I need to go here. I think I need to go. How do I run? Oh, okay, sweet. Okay. Okay, I think I need to go up here. And I think I need to go here. Energy district. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water channel system journey. All water. <laughs> okay, it's coming back to me. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Procedure will begin in please halt for your contaminant inspection. Inspecting. 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 No contaminants <laughs> detected. Okay. Great job. Did I have to stay? Okay. Oh, this was Bridget. Okay, she was the other black scientist. And then her husband, her Husband is that guy watching TV. Hi, Bridget. Are you ready to rock, Harold? I have it here. <laughs> With rock. Oh, Harold, you can be such a killjoy sometimes. Anyway, it's going to take a while to analyze this little guy, so I'll send for you when it's ready. Oh, okay. Great. Thanks, Bridget. Oh, Harold, while you're here, maybe you could help me with a little something? Uh, maybe, but... Don't you think? Now, now, you'll do quite well. There's a little experiment I've been wanting to run. The remote control of the conveyors isn't working right now. My theory is Cyrus and his mugs of tea that he always forgets about before knocking over. So I need your help to manually control them. Can do. I'll be in here recording and analyzing the data. Right, see that button over there? No. The big one next to the conveyors starts and stops them. I think I can handle that. Yes, well, don't get cocky. I'll give you more detailed instructions of the loudspeakers as we go along. I don't know if I can do this. This is a big task for Elmo. Oh, see, look, I'm already messed. I can't even go over though. I'm fired. Okay, so there are three different types of organisms on the conveyor. Each is a different color. Are they pretty? They're very pretty. See, don't I make life easy for you? But I want you to focus on the red ones for now, since we're comparing their data to past readings. Red ones. I got it. I'd be worried if you didn't. Anyway, pop them under the green machine next to you and stop the conveyor, please. Huh? Nice one. Now, on to the next step. I did it! Now, you see the analysis machine? Yay, yay, yay! The machine's UI is pretty easy. There are just two buttons. Mm -mm. One to chop the sample, and one to coat it in our lovely space bacteria mix. Chop and coat. I see. Right. I'll be prepping the actual data recording in the meantime. I'll let you know exactly when to start the process. Okay. Wait for my command. Just like comedy, timing is everything here. I'm overwhelmed already. 
now. Okay. Great. Time to coat the sample. I did it. Great. Yay, yay, yay. Show me what you got. Hmm, intriguing. Okay, we need two more readings to have a representative data set. Alright. Two more rocks. After this, I'm getting a raise. Ah. Okay, great. On to the next step. Look at me doing big girl work. Come on, Harold. Okay. Hey, Speedy McRushmore, can you wait for my signal, please? Repeat the first steps and let's try again. Nice one. Now on to the next step. I listened. I'm sorry, doctor. Also, I just audio now oh oh she about to cuss me out okay great time to coat the sample nice okay. let's see what we have right. ah i see i see just the one left now oh this tea is so good Blah. Okay, great. On to the next step. A lot of beep boops and whistles. A lot of, lot of work. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Nice. Let's see what we have. Ah, I see. I see. Oh, nice God. one, Harold. That's everything we need. Meet me back at the control room and we can look over the results together. And then I can get a raise? That was a lot of hard work. Okay. These results... It looks like our catalytic bacteria is starting to have diminishing returns on the energy output. That's not good, right? No, but it also doesn't make much sense. <laughs> Thanks for the love, Why would the bacteria have been fine until now? I'm not the best person Thank to you ask. For the rose. I do love what the could have changed? I'm not sure. I've run the tests. The key variables, pH level, density, etc., are all stable on the bacteria. We're using the same organic matter for it to convert. And I've been double checking the filters. They're filtering at the same levels as always. I mean, could something outside the ship be to blame? It is possible that somehow the organic matter is being affected before it hits the filters. But none of the tests we've run on the matter itself shows any key variants. Hmm, strange. Are the energy returns diminishing very badly? I'm not panicking yet, Harold. It's just a trend we can't let continue indefinitely. Unless we can miraculously find a whole new system for producing energy. Mm. Not panicking at all. Oh. Oh dear. I should get back to Moreau, but just let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I'll keep you posted, Harold. And thanks. Aww. She got a message for me. Harold, the filter station seems to be clogged again. Please unclog it properly. Filter station. All right. Let's go to the filter station. I want to go to the Ogura Ar Arcades. That place was so cool. I Go see. Please halt for your exit disinfection. Okay, I don't think I need to go. Do not try to taste the disinfectant. Commences in three. Three. What did they say? Four. Zero. I forgot what they said. Filter station. Okay. 
that's probably lapsish. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the hang of this. <laughs> I'm gonna get the hang of this uh, map. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. Okay. We hope you travel with us again soon. Lab quarters. Lounge. Girl, where is the filter station? I don't know where that is. Let's go find this filter station. That's my bedroom there. That's the lounge. Oh, is it down here? Washroom. Oh! Finding places. Okay, here we go. Period. <laughs> period. Oh. What did I do last time? Oh, hell. Oh. Oh! I'm so confused. Y'all, I gotta go here. I thought I was on to something. really hurt my brain but there must be more more to life oh, yeah. cleaning fixing running all around Help! Wait. what's that sound isn't there more to life I clean and I fix till my legs feel like bricks. My best friend is a mop. I work till I drop. And for what? 
No medals or treats. I don't get silk sheets, but oh, I'm the first guy they call for a leak. There must be more to life. I could be an artiste. My name would be fetid or a chef whose every dish was celebrated. But maybe this is my destiny, trouble and strife. And perhaps that's okay at the end of the day. What more could there be to lie? Come on, Harold! He ate that up. Better sing it, baby! I'm gonna get a church organ on this touch board. Oh, sorry, Harold. Ah, hey, yeah, hey, Tommy. Who are you? Sorry, you startled me. I'm a bit startled oh, myself. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember him. What brings you to the filter station? How did you get here so fast? Just, you know, I should probably be going. But you just got here. Anything I can help you with? I I was just looking for filter Frankie, but I guess he's not around. That guy can be slipperier than a jelly deal. Yeah, I've never even met him. right -o. I'll be going now. See you, Harold. Oh, okay. Bye, Tommy. <laughs> I love this game. Uh, Brigitte messaged me. Hey, girl. <coughs> What'd she say? Um, our sample has been prepared and is ready for an analysis. I've got a good feeling about this one. All right. I'm always gonna think that's like a tentacle, like waving at me. Okay, so filter station is in this area. Let's go to Brigitte. I love this little rug. I like how homey this part looks, it's really cute. Can I look at this? Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. Oh, Walter. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Brigitte, my love. What's the tea, honey? Speak. Hey, Bridget. Hey, Bridget. Oh, hey, Harold. Done with the sample already? Mm hmm? I'm here for the sample. You silly goose. I messaged you saying I sent it to the sample shelf. Oh, sorry. I missed it. No, you didn't. That is what the conveyor system is for. To save us from running all over the place the whole time. I know. I guess I just... Did you really think I'd make you come all the way back here to pick it up? No, I mean... I'd probably... It'd be madness. People running around, fetching stuff by hand. None of us would get anything done. Yeah, my bad. I'll go get it. That you. message didn't say that. Although, while you're here... Thanks, Bridget. Sorry to bother you. Bye. <laughs> Try to pick up a sample. Oh, that's an achievement? That's an achievement? Okay, hold on. Go back to this message. All it says, our sample has been prepared and is ready for analysis. I've got a good feeling about this one. That's all it says. And then the to-do, analyze the sample. Bridget said she sent the sample. Man, fuck this game. And she cussed me out. Professionally. For your inspection. All right, come on, let's go. All water. To the lab. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water.
You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Water. All right, let's do it. He said, are they friends? I love. Well, I can show you who her lover is. Hold on. Well, no, no, no. Her lover was that bald headed dude, right? And the bald headed dude thought that she was having an affair. Oh, he's gone. Never mind. Adult swim shit. Um, anyway, the guy that he thought Bridget was having an affair with was in this lounge watching TV, but I don't know where he is now. Oh, actually, he might be in the Agora Arcades. Anyway, let's go sample that rock. What does she do with that rock? Is it here? Is this it? No, it's a phone. Is it this? No, it's probably fish. Oh, I, it's this, the shelf. It's this thing. There it is, there it is. Thanks, Helix. Thanks, boo. <laughs> I hope you're having a good time enjoying the story. But I don't know. I think you were here when we when we um when we played the demo. But basically, the game picks up off on the demo. So I really love that they did that. But at the same time, I don't know. I I gotta go back and watch my vibe. <laughs> Cause I don't remember much. But I know it was some juicy stuff going on, so I, I'm i gonna go back and watch. After this, probably. Right on. Let's take a look what all the fuss is about. Hmm. Oh, yes. I see. Very big marks. Uh a dense rockiness. Why is this me at work? Troubling, uh, strata? Implications huge for origin of it. Mm, yes, large Possible cells. Comet fragment, judging by the composition, could have been from far away. Mm hmm. That is. Ah! Professor, you scared me. This is. We've been thinking all along about. This data suggests. Hmm. But. Huh, that would contradict. Hmm. The potential implications. You're a what? what is it, You're a what? It's these readouts. I think I know what they mean. Oh, what have they told you? The rock strata looks like carbonaceous chondrite. Rare, but the aminos backdating. It's a countdown. Great for what? Our relaunch window. The sample finally reveals a pattern. And it means there's a two-year gap between the otherwise constant solar windstorms. Mm. We're approaching that window mm. fast. And if we miss it? We wait mm. for 80 years. Most of us won't get to see the next one. Wow. So can you work out how long we have? If my calculations are correct, we're fast approaching the end of the current two-year calm period. Mm. In fact, I make it exactly 89 days we have left. Do you think we'll make it? Hmm. Not unless we find a miraculous source of energy to properly power the ship. I doubt it. Oh. I need to double check some of this data urgently. Oh. Oh dear. Okay, Professor. I'll leave you be. Hmm. I heard her little sandal scuffling. Interesting. Yeah. 
Yo, Harry, it's Felix. I've got some big info. It's sensitive. You're kind of cool. So if you want to know more, meet me at the Agora Arcade tonight. If you tell anyone, I'll set your fish free into the ocean. <laughs> Tub hopper. I love that. I need to go back. I need to go back, dude. What the hell is this? Yeah, let's go explore more. Doctor is looking shook because, yeah, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. It's, there's some parts I forgot. I missed, and I know some of y'all watching this are probably like, girl, what is going on? I kind of want to go to Central Station real Location quick nominated. and see if I can find Jenny that guard. All water thanking you. Thank you for traveling with all water. Who's this little girl? Hello there, little miss. Are you lost? You could call me Lise. And no, I'm just waiting for someone. Oh, is Lise like a combination of little and miss? No, stupid. It's my name. What's your name? Uh, uh, it's Harold. Nice to meet you. Is Harold like far and old combined? No, stupid. Well, I suppose it is. No, actually. tell, tell her. <laughs> Okay, bye, Elise. This is why we hate children. <laughs> Wasted my time talking to that little girl. Okay, let's go to the utility district. All water. All water. Moving people every day. I'm just trying to get an understanding of, again, what's going on. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Welcome. I am All Water Automated Secretary Number One. How may I assist your all water related learning? Yeah, let's learn tonight. Before we go to Agora, let's 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 take it back, okay? Tell me about the all water time introduction. Tell me about all water time introduction. Eight years ago, our illustrious and suave CEO Brenner Castlechop made the brave decision to tackle the inaccuracy of the standard analog clocks by introducing unified AW time. A ship-wide, perfectly synced system that ensures people are always in time, on time, together. In a remarkable gesture of generosity, Fedorans were given the opportunity to exchange their old clocks and watches for free. An offer most people took up and thoroughly enjoyed immediately. There were a few skeptical holdouts, but they were eventually won over by peer pressure. Usually annoyed friends having to do the math when arranging a meet-up time as well as the generous tube system and other such all water service vouchers offered to them. When was All Water founded? When was All Water founded? The Municipal Freshwater Clarification Agency was formed just after the crash, but it was rebranded to All Water in 12789 AC, just prior to the introduction of the transportation tube system. So, what exactly does All Water do? 
All Water Corporation is dedicated to making the lives of Fedorans easier, more pleasurable, and more sustainable. Major services include regulation of the ship's day-night cycle, mm. the tube transportation system, organizing the monthly all-water ball, balancing the energy budget, and overseeing the ship's water supply and filtration systems. All Water is also invested in exciting new science initiatives, some or all of which may be strictly confidential at this time. Please check with your nearest All Water Secretary about the status or indeed existence of such initiatives. Can you tell me about the current CEO? CEO Brenna Castlechop began her All Water career at the age of 16. She graduated from her internship to a full-time position after she devised a mathematical theory to reduce the calculations needed to make different electronic systems communicate with one another. These improvements would eventually become the basis for the ship's current intranet system, architected by temporary all-water employee, a redacted, codenamed Dr. Computer. During this time, the Schlippmeyer family and the Freshwater Clarification Agency were engaged in a dispute over the ship's water supply, the former holding a chemically-based freeze filtration system over the current but outdated machinery. Castlechop wrote a proposal to improve the existing system by overhauling its connected mechanics, which led to all water being able to reject the Schlippmeyer's costly license fees. Her expertise, including her initiative to renew the physical connection between water reservoirs, filtration systems, and the various districts, eventually evolved into the tube transportation system and saw her promoted to sub-chief of the directive branch of operations. She finally became CEO in 13152 AC after widespread pressure throughout the organization on the incumbent CEO, Dr. Rufus Bureaucratze, to finally step down and let the Wonderkin take charge of all water at last. Mm. Bye. The All Water Corporation wishes you a pleasant day. Mm. See, I didn't do that last time. I was just running around. It's important we learn and explore. Reflecting our continued commitment to being approachable and accountable showed us an 87% passenger approval shortly afterwards. And we hope the recent local waters probe will get that up. Okay. I don't think there's anything else here. Can we go up here again? We might be kicked out, but let's check it out. I remember talking to his ass. Hey, Zoya. Harold. To what do I owe the pleasure? Oh, oh that's just okay. <laughs> I forgot what he does. Okay. All right, let's go back. All right, still trying to gather the pieces together, trying to remember. Oh my God, I think it's about to die. My phone's about to die, it's okay. Anyway. Um, so we did the All Wolves District. I guess let's go to the Agora Arcades. That's what we were supposed to do. All water compliments you on your choice of destination. Uh. <laughs> that child. All water 
We get you where you're going. Oh, who's this? Who's there? No, oh, I can't talk to her. I can't talk to this person. She looking kind of nosy. Okay. Travel in style. Oh wait, maybe that was one of the conductors. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Oh, Just yeah, contact your nearest, kid. and all water will make it up to you. Hey, Felix. Oh, that's Felix. I'm okay, here. okay. What's with the secret? Shh. Wait. I can't tell you anything with all these people around. Uh, okay. We have to wait until everyone leaves. Yes, that's the deal. Okay. Well, I wish I'd known. I would have brought a book or something. What are you reading? Oh, just the latest in the Fedora 4 series. Is that the beast from below? Oh, no. It's Persephone's Lament. Oh, I thought the beast from below was the latest one. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, look. Is that Cherry Bafflesop? Who's that? Come on, you don't know Cherry Bafflesop? The food critic from the Chronicle? I'm a kid. I don't read newspapers. Well, the cartoons, obviously. And I quite like the Agony On column, actually. I think that might be Cherry, too. Oh. So, do you ever think it's strange? All these people, all their own homes, lives, thoughts? Maybe they don't even know we exist. Well, I mean, they can see us. Yes, but that's not always the same thing, is it? Oh, I suppose not. Not this deep existential so like conversation. Why? Did Mr. Tenenbaum ask you to spy on me? Chris? No. I was only wondering. School, school. I try to concentrate, but it just seems pointless. I mean, what do you need to learn to do what my dad does? And I'm sure they're not teaching us about what my mom does. But you need to just learn in general. You can't just know what you need to learn yet. Huh. I just feel like I learn more by exploring myself. Well, can't you do both? Never you can quit. always explore, but you can't always get someone like Chris I mean, Mr. Tinnebaum, spending all day helping you learn. Uh, I suppose it would be cool to know everything. Good evening, Fedorans. Interesting. The all water tube system will shortly be closed. Okay, it's time. I hope it's worth the, the wait. Oh, it is. Coast is clear. Follow me. This, my friend, is the Tunnel of Secrets. It looks like a ventilation yeah, yeah, yeah. shaft? A small, dark one. Sure, that's what they want you to think. Come on. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we're in here. We're in here. We're, we're, we're in the tea. We're deep in the, we're in the thick of it. The thick of it, y'all. It's pretty cozy in here. Just follow me and trust me. So you promise you won't tell anyone about this? Promise? I mean, who would I tell? Moreau? She'd just say I'm making up tall tales again. Well, I think you'd better tell me a secret anyway, just so we're even. Um, okay. I guess that's only fair. Well, one time I dropped something into one of the filters, so I had to... Space Felix, rat. come on. Can't you tell me where we're headed? Good things come to those who wait. Crazy. Also, why is there a a a, a keypad for so the filter how for well the do you vents? Know these tunnels, Felix? Tunnels. We're not lost, are we? Okay, trust me. I've been exploring these for ages now. Whenever my parents are away, or yeah, I need quiet space. There's so much of the station people don't know about. I mean, could they even fit? <laughs> Probably not. And I'm glad they don't try. They can't be that bad. 
Oh, they're fine, just so busy, always. But they let me get away with a lot. You could try not getting into trouble in the first place. Oh, come on, don't tell me you're a goody two-shoes. <laughs> I doubt the professor would think I am. She's not your mama, right? Nope, but she's been kind of like one. <laughs> that body. So what about your... Are you sure we're not lost? Not long now, don't worry. Interesting. We're just so in the thick of this game. This is crazy. I don't even know how long this game is, to be honest with you. But we are about an hour and some change into streaming. But I think realistically, I probably only played like 30 minutes or so of this game. So I know, I know we got a lot. So thank y'all for watching and being here again. I know, right? I have never looked at it this way before. We only had the same stuff to look at, mostly. Mm. Gotta try find new angles. Huh. Did you read that somewhere? No, I don't think so anyway. Here. Uh, not for me, thanks. And not for you. Relax, it's just gum. Smoking is a dumb adult thing anyway. Oh, okay. I'll take one. Thanks. They call him the Scout. A man who dared to go where others wouldn't or couldn't. He wasn't one for the limelight, but he was good at his job. He mapped out new lands. The lightkeepers made him an offer. Work for us, they said. A lesser man would have taken the money. But the Scout works best alone. He can't be bought. Only the scout sees things for what they really are. Looks to the watery horizon while everyone else stares at their shoes. If only they understood. The scout is a legend. We've been trying to track him down for years. If anyone can find him, it's you, Agent Harrelson. I love this. What do you think is going to happen now that Earth is okay? Everyone wants to go back, but... Yeah, it'll take a while, right? Too long. Let's move on. Mm. Okay, so that's what that light year solar wind... That the doctor, the professor's freaking out about because I guess they have that one shot to get to Earth, otherwise it'll take 80 years to actually get back to Earth. But, um... I forgot what happened to Earth and why they left. But they've basically been on this ship called the Fedora and, um... They've landed in this alien ocean. And, uh... Oh! oh. Harold! Are you okay? Uh, I think so, but everything is going cold. <gasps> ah, you probably land in a condensation puddle. Where am I? How do I get out of here, Felix? I I'm not sure, but good luck and we'll meet up later. I don't let anyone see you. We can't blow our cover. Or you could just okay, Felix. grab me up. You take care now. Ha, says the man who dived into a shallow puddle. See ya. <laughs> It's him literally right there. Like, you could just help me, you know? Yes, yes, 100%. And let me circle back to you on the... Oh, Slipmire, please do sit down and come in. Ah, uh, Madam CEO, have I got news for you? I should certainly hope so. Time is money, and I can't spend time on empty chatter with so perilous a palpable public perception problem. Well, now you've had a chance to test my new super chill air con system. Have you given my start procedure idea any more thought? Surely you don't want to rely entirely on Cyrus. 
Yes, about that. I can still hear those blasted mice in the vents. Mm. So it can't be that cold and therefore not that efficient. If the system can't scare some mice, how's it going to form the basis of a relaunch? Hmm. I don't want to presume, but did you turn it up to max? Yes, up to ten. Ah, I thought so. You see, this one goes to eleven. Well, why wouldn't you just make ten? <sighs> Whatever. Will you do the honors? Uh oh. Of course. You just gotta click the dial past the little bit of resistance. Like so. Give it a few minutes to kick in, and those mice will be micicles. Good. Perhaps you should work on a prototype. We're going to treat people to a little public demonstration in 10 days. Get the public buy-in, perhaps even a vote. Hmm, it seems like there's hope for your aircon yet. Those mice are feeling the chill. Yes, I think, I mean, I'd love another day or two to tweak the cooling coefficient. No extra days. This has already gone on long enough. We need to be seen to act. You know me, I'm all about moving fast. Well, not too fast. We can't cut corners on this. The stakes are too high. I'll keep it on the straight and narrow. But if you can, find a way to speed it up. Say no more, Madam CEO. Just wait until that demonstration. You'll see. <laughs> now about those all-water co-branded mittens we discussed. I can't stay in here any longer. I'll, I'll become a herald sickle. So that's Brenna. That's the CEO. And she. Oh, that's Bridget. Oh. Is this the bathroom? I guess the air con really is efficient around here. What a day. Boy, get out of here. Time for bed. At least he got his draws on. He got his draws on, y'all. We good, we good. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> We're right. <coughs> Hi, Lays. <laughs> Welcome. It's popping. Oh. Hi, child. Hi, Andy. Just have a little naked shower moment. <laughs> oh, there's Doctor. Goodness, Harold. Where have you been? Sorry. Excuse me. Come on. Let's get some tea in you. Thanks, Professor. That does sound nice. The game is, is getting good. So I would... This is so cute. Come on to Tommy, man. So, where have you been? And don't say you got stuck in the filter pipes again. Ah, uh, no. Well, there was this a so puddle, peaceful. but it's okay. You're here now. That's the important thing. <laughs> oh dear. Do have some tea. It makes everything better. Ah, the yes, game is I going think I will. great. Yes, this is like this is claymation. This is all completely handmade, hand drawn, hand painted. Um, all the setups, the clothes were all handmade, everything. Uh it's a great game. <laughs> uh, warm. You need to remember to look after yourself. A stitch in time saves nine. I do. I just this was, um, extraneous circumstances. Extenuating circumstances? What exactly yeah. have you been up to? Well, it's hard to explain, but I was with Felix. He showed me the vents. They were nice. But then I fell through a grate next to the CEO's office. From what I could overhear, I think something pretty serious is going on between Slippy and Mrs. Castlechop. Slippy? I hardly think he's her type. Not no, like that. No, not not romantic. Right, girl. Not that tea. It sounded like Slippy was working on his own relaunch procedure. What? That would be most vexing. Why would Castle Chop have told us about this? I don't know. 
Maybe Slippy himself wants to keep it secret for some reason. Well, I don't have much hope that Slippy will solve the problem, but it could be disastrous if he convinced the CEO that he could. I wonder whether those light keepers are aware of this. It seems probable. I what I can't like deduce here. yet is what their agenda is. Yeah. Things have been crazy, though, with them, all the all-water news, the rock, now this. Yeah. Yes, very irregular, not at all fitting with the usual models. Perhaps it's all connected somehow. Oh, could be. Did Slippy or the CEO say anything about what the procedure would be? Not really. All I could tell is that it somehow involved Slippy's patented air con system. Intriguing. Well, if this baffling pattern keeps up, I'm sure we'll find some new perplexing puzzle pieces soon. I'll keep my ears to the ground. Yes, you do that. Just watch out for puddles. Ha! Huh. I'll do my best. Well, let's sleep on it. You look like you could use some. Sounds good, Professor. Achoo! I always look like this, honey. Night, Harold. This is the style. And don't catch a cold, please. I'll try not to. Mm. Night. I love this little loft she has up here. Absolutely precious. Time to sleep. Like, at, like. God, this game is so cute. God, this game is so cute. Hold on. Oh, look at the picture. Uh, I wonder if like the devs, like if their child, if they like made their child draw these pictures. <laughs> like Timmy, draw this picture of the professor and Harold having tea together. And then they drew it. Oh. Uh, hi, Chicks and Giggles! Hey! Thanks for coming. This looks so cool. I've never seen the game. Yeah! Yes, this is... This, I need more people to know about this game. Okay. But this game just came out. It's called Harold Halibut. Um, the devs, I think they spent... They spent a long time making this game. A long time, baby. And it's all claymation, stop motion. Um... Uh, where was I going with this? Uh, all handmade, um, hand painted, as you can see, and it's just a really unique story. Um, it's from what I'm understanding. I'm still getting the story, but um, this is a spaceship, a, a space craft. Okay, we were from Earth. We had to leave Earth because some stuff was going on on Earth, and we have been in space and then we landed on this planet and we landed in their ocean and we've basically just adapted to this ocean life um and now we have like this transportation system called old water and we use the old water tube system you travel um in different parts of the ship and um we're learning there's like a little bit of corruption going on with the CEO. Um, there's some mis mysterious stuff going on. And then we have some people called the light keepers, which I don't remember who the light keepers are. I have to go back and like watch my other VOD about it, but I, I don't know. Okay. So that's what I got so far. Um, we played the demo on stream. I have that stream still up on my YouTube channel. Uh, after this, I'm going to have to go back and watch it because I forgot. But the game starts, it takes you right after the demo. So you don't have to really start over, which is really nice. Um, but they would they could at least have like a little refresher or something. But anyway, that's what I got so far. <laughs> wow. That was not how I imagined today to go. This game is on sale. Hopefully tomorrow will be nice and normal again. No surprises, no excitement, just good old routine. No. Achoo! Uh, that darn air con. Achoo! Not him sneezing Ugh. in his hand. This is why we have I COVID. I better not wake up with a cold. 
You're gonna wake up with a cold because you don't have a you don't have a blanket on. You ain't got that Vicks Vapo on. Ow, my leg, my leg. Ow. <laughs> right. Ninety days left until the launch window closes. Okay. 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 Ooh, drama. <sighs> What's that? Oh, that darn alarm waking me up from my swim and dreamies. Girl, get up. Maybe it's just a test. Uh, seems like something is up. Better go check the lab console and see nothing has exploded. Okay. Check the computer. Where's Doctor? Professor? Uh, no surprise. Filter station alarm attention. The filter station again. This thing loves getting me out of bed. This thing loves getting me out of bed. All right, let's go check it out, y'all. What time is it? Oh, no, okay. Hurry, Harold. Hurry! Girl, hello? No robot lesson, no nothing. Zoom in. In beginning. Oh my God, those are arms and legs, y'all. <gasps> oh! Look at his fingies. This is gonna be the next thumbnail. <laughs> Enhance. Get in there, get the camera in there. Come on. Harold, talk to us, girl. Harold. Ooh. Oh, we finished chapter one. Hey, yeah, yeah. How many chapters are in this game? Should I end the stream? Is he okay? It is breathing. We should be hesitant to ascribe deterministic gender terms to fishy here. Their race may not even have gender, biologically or culturally. Oh, sorry, yes. Sorry, fishy. It just feels unfair saying it. Perhaps when fishy wakes up, we'll be able to exchange theories about the formation of gender identity and its sociological impact. 
No doubt it'd give us some fascinating insights I'm, I'm into mad. the anthropological and biological imperatives of their society. They named but it is, fishy. Are they gonna be okay? Let me see. Essential life signs seem stable. Surface moisture looks acceptable. Keep an eye on them. If they look to be drying out, give them a spritz. And what do we do next? <gasps> Just let me think for a minute. Should I go get more help? Let's not be hasty about telling anyone else yet. Don't tell nobody. There are all kinds of ways someone, namely all water, could get this all so very wrong. Makes sense. There would be so many questions. You'd never be able to concentrate. Exactly. All those things will get in the way of us taking good care of this. Yes. Yes, and when they wake up, it's all going to feel pretty scary. We'll do what we can do. We just need to keep them safe until I can finish conducting the tests. I mean, you know, health tests. What about keeping the secret in the storage room? I could keep the boxes in my room. Hmm. Yes. Proximity to the lab. Humid environment. No other access. Yes, that should be suitable. Good idea. Let's move them in there. Gosh. I'm no expert, but they look really poorly. Don't worry, Harold. You did well to bring them to me promptly. They're in the right hands. Now, let me concentrate. Okay, I'll get to clearing up the storage room. I love this game. I'm about to break. I'm about to break my game trying to get to Steam. I need everyone to get this game, okay? This is a terrific game. I can't quite get to Steam right now, but everybody get this game, okay? This is Harold Halibut. This is a terrific story. If you're looking for a good, cozy narrative, a little bit of sci-fi, a little bit of mystery in there with a unique art style, I'm gonna go make some tea. I'll be right back. Huh? Popping. Huh? Oh. Okay, I'm back, everybody. All right, got my tea. I also got a little bit of cough drops so I can stop hacking my lungs out. Got some woo woo. I was gotta stay hydrated. Um. Uh, <laughs> um thank y'all again so much for coming and watching the stream i hope y'all are enjoying this harold halibut content if you are okay please like the video if you haven't already and also feel free to subscribe to my channel where i have lots more gameplays and streams and all kinds of cool videos you can check out All right, this game is great. I'm I'm only an hour and 49 minutes. We're locked in tonight, okay? We're locked in. Let's let's do this. All right, so we got fishy here. Okay. We got fishy. What am I doing? Oh, declutter the storage room. Okay. All right, let's go fix Fishy's bed. Go the other way. There you go. What am I doing with this? Like, hello? doing with this thing? Girl, what the fuck? Oh, I'm putting it in my room. I forgot. Tell me I gotta do this for every single goddamn box. And just think, even this simple task of moving these boxes, imagine the months it took to Film him picking up that box. Film him turning around. Filming him exiting this door. This transition. This 
running. Like the dedication, y'all. Okay. The dropping of the box. All in a video game. Beautiful. Beautiful. I better see this game at the game awards. I can tell you that. I'm so confused. I'm just gonna do that. I, I'm confused. I'm confused how we got here. Are they fucking with me? I forgot how we even got here, y'all. I can't tell if the game is broke or is this how they meant to do this? Are they just messing with me? I think they're just messing with me. Oh! Huh? Uh, we did that though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go look at Fishy. Okay, I think I'm done with the box room. Wait, let's move them in there. Harold, can you get that? Hold it up and put it on speakerphone for me. Will do. Enjoy your new home, Fishy. And paint this is phone. Morrow. No, it's Cyrus. What? Cyrus, I'm Marrow. Yes, I was trying to call you. You've succeeded, perhaps unfortunately. Yes, well, just for once, listen to what I have to say. I'm listening. Good. You sound faint, though. Am I on speakerphone? Yes, I don't have time to stand still every time you need me, Cyrus. What is it? So, Slippy is here. One moment I was all alone working on the hydrofusion coefficient machinations, and thinking how interesting it was that... Sigh. I really do hate to interrupt you, but not as much as I hate not interrupting you. You were saying about Slippy? Yes, well, the next moment he was here. He's rootling around, asking me all kinds of questions I don't want to answer. Can't you come and, I don't know, scare him off? I'll see what I can do. Give me five minutes. Okay. See you soon, I guess. Thanks. What was that? Nothing. Bye. Hmm. Harold, as you've heard, I've got to go and babysit. I've taken a blood sample from Fishy. Can you rush it to the pharmacy? Get it analyzed, then get some suitable transfusion based on the results. Can do. I'll go right away. Is it looking okay for now? Just fine. It's stable, and hopefully the results will help us with the missing pieces of this little fishy puzzle. I hope so. Thanks, Professor. Good luck. Why didn't he help her with this big ass fish? Can I the water tube route to the utility district has now reopened. And perfectly on schedule, we might add. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The water tube route to the social district has reopened. Please do not all try to go at once. Thank you for your understanding. Okay, wait, where am I going? Oh, <laughs> this picture of fishy. Oh my god, it's hilarious. Deliver the blood sample. Morel told me to deliver Fishy's blood samples to the pharmacy and the finally reopened utility district. All right, let's go, y'all. I 
I really wonder how long this game is. We just finished chapter one. Oh, social district. Is that what they said, social district? Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. I'm gonna say that like that for the rest of my life now. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Not that saying help. Now presenting Yava Pelletier and her poem, Dark Silent Ship. Take it away, Yava. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Tinnebaum. <clears throat> what is the dark and silent ship? That being nowhere neither comes nor goes. That being never has no real time. I can't go in there. Which we can only say that it flows. I can't go in How is it that this empty data stream this cache of dead light could so lose its way, it wandered back to feed on its own dream. How did that dream grow to the waking day? What is the sound that fades this? up from the hiss? Like a glass of landing down from heaven that breaks. Now full of its own note, its lonely call, drawing on its song to keep it singing. Kind of want to listen to this poem. Stop breathing? Hi there. Oh, hi there. I'm Fern. I'm Harold. Nice to meet you. Here is the truth. Do you have a kid performing a poem? What? <laughs> no, no kids for me. Are we home or in prison? We got the I'm here in my official capacity as a talent scout, man. Oh, so what kind of talent are you scouting for exactly? <laughs> I see hidden talents in many places, man. <clears throat> Maybe I'll get one of those kiddos to write some boss verse for one of the papers. Or sign one as an actor. I got clients all over, man. We're in an ocean. You got your eye on anyone already? Sure. But, uh, <laughs> I don't want to reveal the hidden talents to the whole world, right? Do myself out of a job. <laughs> you understand, right? No hard feelings? I think I do. And, yeah, no hard feelings. Don't worry. I'll let you get back to scouting. Thanks, man. <laughs> Enjoy the show. And when you see one of these kiddos go on to great things, you'll be able to say you met the man who made it happen. Okay. Who are you? Oh, Eve, hey, what do you think of... Shh! Sorry. Girl, ain't nobody up there. Hello there. Oh, well, hello. Are there Are we enjoying the show? I most certainly am. I'll enjoy it all the more when my girl performs hers. Oh, that's great. You're a parent. What's her poem about? Oh, <laughs> I believe it will speak for itself. Look at her cute little outfit in her pants. I don't like to brag, but she's rather precocious and... Hang on, are you not a parent? Me? <laughs> no, I'm just here to listen. Is that quite so? Are you some kind of bohemian poetry lover, perhaps? Bohemian poetry lover. Or rather, lover. a shabby looking teacher I've not met before. Me? No, I'm just a handyman, kind of wandered by. A handyman with no professed love for the poetic art, idly watching children perform. And making small talk with the parents then, hmm? Yes, that's about right. Oh dear. I do apologize, but would you... Would you wander away? I'm not <gasps> sure quite how proper it is for me to continue associating with you. Oh, no, it's... <gasps> hmm. All right. Okay, I understand. I hope you enjoy your daughter's poem. He's not getting yes, it. Yes, er, you too. Bye now! <gasps> 
Not her calling him a weirdo. Hey, Chris. Ah, Harold. Didn't know you were into this sort of thing. <laughs> Me either. But here I am. Well, what do you think? It's great. Very, uh, moving. And they really look like they're having fun. Yes! I think it's an excellent expression of their young, curious minds. All right, she said I'm creepy Sharing looking. Sharing their hopes, dreams, and fears, and expressive verses I like want to go help that child in the... It just warms my little toes to see. Aww. I want to help that so child in the classroom. So, you have a favorite so far? All my students are equal in my eyes, Harold. Like they were my own children. It's the way that he's in a uh, row. No, I meant a poem? Oh. <laughs> he never have clothes yes, on. well, truth be told, it's all Algarabia to me. What does that mean? Well, indeed. What does any of it mean? Put some no, clothes I mean, on, Chris. Never mind. He is literally in his bathroom. And you calling me weird. Can I go help out this kid? Okay. Please be upstanding or seated. Whatever you're most comfy with. For my poem entitled... I want to help this kid. I want to help them. I want to help this kid. I really want to help this kid. I'll start again. They ebb and flow. Where do they go? Is that? The tide. In here. Oh, whoa. Oh, I'm on the wall. Whoa. Girl. I think I broke the game. Oh, shit. Hero. Oh. Ah, Corporal Flounder. What am I going to do with you, eh? No one can ever know about you. You're a living, floundering breach of all the rules in the book. My book, I might add. Oh, the things I do for you. Anyway, chapter three, The Merry Band. It was a dark and stormy night when the four intrepid explorers left the fedora in search of the riches that would make their names. Oh! Who's there? Oh, uh, hi, Major. It's me, Harold. What in the blue blazes are you doing here, boy? I'm sorry to interrupt. I was just passing. Thought I heard, but then... Well, whatever you heard, or most definitely didn't hear, if you get my drift, is your invasion of my privacy. What? So right? Lower that tone talking to me, okay? Okay? You're making it, like... You're making a scene. Oh, so perhaps we should just both forget this whole messy incident ever happened, hmm? Oh, yes, of course, Major. I understand. Good. Let me write you a ticket as a reminder. Oh, okay. Okay. Very good. Now, if you'll excuse us, I mean, me. Oh, look at his little legs. Oh, look at his little flounder friend. Okay, let's not break the game this time, okay? Who are you? Whose house is this? Are you not testing, testing, one, two, three. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la. <coughs> la, di, lu, li, lu, lu, lu. It's the Tannoy guy. All water. Water. Oh. Woo gun. Woo, 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 wa, water. This is me. Oh, gosh, I should probably just leave. Let him talk to himself in private. Hmm. Did I hear something outside? Harold? Hello? Anyone out there? It's okay, you know. I have an open door policy. Well, the front door. Not this one. <laughs> uh, hello? I'm Harold. I was just passing and noticed the open door. I just wanted to check. Welcome. This is a bathroom announcement. Oh, my God. I'm still in the shower. But please deposit your bum on the nearest available seat station. Make yourself at home. 
This is Radio Fedora, coming to you from the shower. This just in, I am the voice inside your head. <laughs> this is great. Ooh, rubber dub dub. So, uh, you get many visitors? Oh, sure. I have quite a few fans of my voice, actually. I'm always happy for them to swing by and have a listen to some behind the scenes chat. Do you think you'll always be the PA announcer? Ah, interesting question. Well, if I were to ever <laughs> announce my retirement, I think it would be nice to do something a bit more hands-on, you know? Maybe some voice coaching, or learn guitar work to go with my singing. Ooh, perhaps Entertainment Onat and I could start a band. Can I ask a question? Sure, go ahead. What do you think is my best announcement? I know there's a lot of classics, but if you had to pick just one... Gosh, um, I always like the Thursday greetings. Ah, yes. I write those myself, you know. Wow, that's really great. Keep them up. Ooh, I will. Thank you, but I'd better be going now. Okay, you'll be hearing from me. <laughs> this is terrific. Terrific. Oh. All right, well, we just met the announcer guy. He's in here. Oh. Okay. Surfer rock guitar. On the music. Oh dang, that's it. This was a cool little area. I'm glad we got to go down here. Dude, are we in the right spot? Didn't they tell me to go the social district? Did I just go? Okay, hold on. Oh, utility district. Oh my God. Well, I don't regret going down here at all. Destination I don't regret it at all. Enjoy the view. Ahem. <laughs> You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. Oh. We hope you travel with us again soon. <laughs> Shower. <laughs> hey everyone, Zoya here. I'm at the Agora Game Arcade if anyone wants to play or just hang out or whatever. Is that like an optional? Yeah, optional. Okay. Okay, well, let me go to the utility district first. And then I'll go to the Agora Arcades. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. And then, yeah. Okay. Um. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. All water. Bum, dum dum pharmaceuticals. Is that what I call it? Dum dum. Oh no, Sunny's here. Hi, Sunny. Harold. Who, who's this? Well, hello. It's been a while. So how's life after Sunny? What have you got for me? Oh, it's, uh, different, but okay. Uh, same old, uh, just this you, uh, j <laughs> and just this, can you run an anal I mean, an, an, an analysis? <laughs> same old Harold. Sure thing. Hand it over and I'll take it for a ride in the QD. Uh, the what now? The QT, the quick test, silly. Uh, yeah. So, you still right. with my dad? Yeah, 
Sometimes? Same old Cyrus, huh? Reckon the QT will be much longer? It only takes a minute. How long has it been? Like a few seconds at the most. Anyway, don't you have something you want to ask me? Um, okay. What have you been up to since then? Oh, Terrible. I must stop you there, Harold. Looks like the cutie's all done. He's like, oh, thank God. Let <laughs> me just see. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm sure it's nothing. Really, just, I'll be going. Hey, not so fast, Sonny Jim. This sample has definitely been taken from something odd, cool, or on a very radical cocktail of drugs. Spill the beans. I really can't. I have to get back. <laughs> to your new alien friend? <laughs> what? No, <laughs> nothing like that. Just uh, an experimental fish. Shut up, Cyrus. Harold. Cyrus made a new fish, but it lost some blood when uh, it accidentally got its fin trapped in a filter. Ah, uh, Dad is always so boring about hybridization theory. I don't even want to know. So you need an aquatic craniate blood replacement, huh? Yes, exactly. It's a valuable specimen, and it was kind of my fault. I'm thinking a solution of granulocytes and sodium chloride rich plasma should do the trick. I think we've got some left in the cooler. Someone is grabbing the yep, cooler here real we quick. Go. Thank you, Sonny. No worries. Peace. Wow. Can I go upstairs? Oh, fuck yeah, I can go upstairs. What's in here? Uh, hello? What's the password? Oh. I don't know. Swordfish? Swordfish. Bad luck. No dice. Don't bother us again. Okay. Who's was them. Hi there, buddy. What is the hey, mail buddy. system? Hey, buddy. How's the mail life treating you? Oh, it's great. Can't complain. But, you know, not quite as spry as I used to be. Oh, is everything okay? Thank you for asking, Harold. I mustn't grumble. Plenty have it worse. What have you been up to today? Just trying to make myself useful. How about you? No deliveries today? Nope. I'm all caught up. So, I'm spending a little time with my treasure trove. Dude, look at oh, his arms. They made veins on his ah, arms. Old, undelivered letters. All right. Just no, no. looking at them makes me feel giddy. Don't even. But why couldn't you deliver them? Oh, oh. <laughs> believe me, I tried. There's this archaic little Fedora mail delivery protocol stating that mail may only be handed over if the addressee takes receipt in person. And if the addressee is not present, they must collect the mail from the post office within a 12-day span. So, couldn't you leave them a note? <laughs> I thought of that, but a reminder slip is technically classified as mail, and therefore must also be delivered in person. So... This is mail that you couldn't remind people about within 12 days of the first delivery. Almost. You see, for the postman to attempt in-person receipt of a reminder slip, they must also have new additional mail to deliver to the same recipient. Else, Article 27B-6 classifies it as a personal interruption of duty what? and is therefore forbidden while that postman holds his office. But... Couldn't you deliver the reminder slip after your working hours? You see, I considered that. But Appendix 11 star states that information gleaned by a postman on duty must never be used for personal gain. Okay. And so, technically, once I'm off duty, I'm not supposed to even know that I want to deliver a reminder slip. Oh. Okay, I think you're reading too so, much into this, babe. while I occupy this hallowed office, it would breach regulations for me to deliver them. Or to think too much about them, even on a personal level. So, there they sit. He's, he should be fired. But it makes me sad, thinking about all those messages going undelivered. Don't make me, I'm gonna have to do it. Even reading them is forbidden under subarticle 7N. Oh. 
Now that I think about it, related to 7N is the footnote addendum 7N3 degrees, which states, if I remember correctly, that such mail can be read, but only in the presence of another all water employee. Oh, great. Moreau doesn't think of herself as one, but she's an all water employee. You could ask her. Or, since you are her assistant, you're technically an employee as well. I hate it. So why don't you come in here? I'll open the door. It's the one on your right. How about no? And let's finally take a little look at these forbidden fruits, shall we? <sighs> oh, okay. I'll take a look for sure. Um, by gum, it'll be good to finally get them home. Where do I go? Here? Oh, Harold. we got here darling arna when the ship crashed i half wondered if life as we knew it would collapse in on itself as well mm. it seemed like the pressure of the ocean surrounding us was pressing through the ship's hull through to my very soul and i wondered how i how any of us would find a new way to keep going on even though our home itself had entered stasis mm. then i realized something maybe it was slowing down reconsidering my lot in life and on the ship i realized that i loved you that i want to love you i know you will assure me i'm being foolish and that you want me to have full happiness and that said happiness couldn't possibly lie with you but it does now more than ever we must look within and i give thanks to whatever a celestial whim sent the fedora tumbling down for it has given rise to my understanding of what is really important. Arna, whether you love me back in the same way, just know I am, and will always be, happy to love you. Forever, you know who. Ooh. Wow, whoever wrote that experience, the crash. They sure did. Lived and loved through it. Do you think they ended up telling Arna in person? I hope so. I feel like a love that clear would have shined out in person. Mm. Wow. Maybe they couldn't find the words in person, though. Hence the letter. And then they'll Perhaps. never get it because you never Something delivered it. It tells me that Anna had someone that loved her unconditionally. So either way, she was a lucky girl. Buddy, didn't you live through the crash, too? Sure did, bucko. Hell of a thing. Whoever wrote that love struck letter was right. Everyone certainly had to readjust. I guess that's when I really grew up and started being interested in people, not just... Uh... Not just... Ah, uh, nothing I want to burden you with. Oh, okay. Tell you what, though. Why don't you come back tomorrow and we can see what else is in here? Okay, sure. That sounds fun. Laters, buddy. But we're never gonna deliver that message, are we? We're never gonna... They're probably dead. <laughs> They're probably gone. Or where am I? Oh, okay. <laughs> Messages. Aww. Bring the blood replacements, a fishy. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. I gotta meet Zoya at the arcade. Okay. Let's go to the arcade real quick. Then we're gonna drop off this blood for fishy. Which is Mednik's girlfriend. Uh, so just Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. All water. <laughs> We met the announcer. We done a lot today. This was a good first uh 
You're First here. Playthrough. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Okay. Oh, look, there's more kids. Who are them? Are they asleep? They sleep. Where is that? What's this one? Can't even go in that. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Okay, I don't remember Azora. Azoya. Thank you for traveling with all water. All water. Look at all the advertisements. Like, when I say they painted everything, they did everything. Hold on. something else I needed to do. Something to do with these guys. But I guess we're good. Mr. Seventeen? Mr. Halibut? Anyone been lucky with the raffle recently? Not recently. It's a real hoot though when someone does win. The excitements as they go away to look through the access forum to correlate their winning ticket to the reward is palpable. I'll be going. Thanks, Mr. Seventeen. Always a pleasure. Hi, Thor. Welcome. Welcome to Harold Halibut. Some pesky trouble making you left more graffiti on the lab wall again. Could you clean it off, Harold? Bro, again? I just got to the Agora Arcade. Saw. I forgot who's Zora. Or Zoya. Welcome to Water Wieners. I bet you've never seen a meaner wiener. Hello there. Relax. No, I haven't. They look great. How long <laughs> uh, have you been here? Oh, okay. I'm not sure. I just live for the day. But I'm here now, after a long tour of all the culinary innovation the Fedora has to offer. Oh, cool. So what made you decide on wieners? An astute question, my curious Epicurean friend. I have concluded that wieners and their accompanying toppings and trimmings are the most perfect balance. He has a taste, wiener tattoo. Convenience and nutrition. Oh, look at his arm. Wow. Okay. His right arm. By the way, you look familiar. You do. Are you related to the Allwater Secretaries by any chance? By blood, yes. That's about where the relation ends. So, which wiener will you be wanting? Okay, box number eight about Warren. Box number 17 about Warren. Okay, well. <laughs> Zoya. Oh, the game arcade, okay. I don't know who Zoya is, but I'm about, I'm about to find out. Potions. Potions, potions, magic. Get out of my way, lady. Is this thing okay? Oh, this is Zoya. Okay. Double decker. No, 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 no. The Zoya. There we go. Captain uh, Large Zoya? Sure, you can get a recap. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Hi, Harold. You know you can just call me Zoya. 
Also, I forgot your name no already. No point in the captain bit anymore. Oh, what do you mean? Huh? Well, you know what they say about a captain going down with his ship? Who said that? Well, I don't know. But I read it somewhere. That sounds like a sad story. Yeah. Well, it is. But mine is sadder. I didn't even get to go down. I was born destined to be a captain of a ship that was already down. Damn. But Allwater mentioned some kind of research going on about a relaunch, right? And the ship needs running in general. Sure. But all water takes care of that just fine without me. Mm. Hmm. Look, I, I appreciate you trying to make me feel better. Uh, at least I assume that's what you're trying to do. But could you just leave me be? You told me to come I'm here! I'm chasing a new high score on this. It's the one thing I'm good at. Oh, okay. Good luck with that. <laughs> My boy, you told me to come here to talk to you. <laughs> Was that not his message? Oh, that was... Okay. Yeah, he just lonely. Okay. Okay, so... <clears throat> what I'm understanding so far in this game... Oh my god, look at the performer. Okay! Theater! <laughs> I can watch that all day. Um, okay, what am I doing now? Okay, I got a lot of optional things to do. I'm not talking to these these secretaries. I'll talk to them on the way. But I'm not gonna talk to them. Here, I'll talk to him. Um, Hi there, Mr. Seventeen. I'll, I'm How's it going? Recap in a minute. Fine and stand. Not a care in the world. Not even about Warren being back. No. Nope. Absolutely least of all about Warren being back. Great. But if he expects to just waltz back into our lives after being away so long, okay, T. Maybe he's as nervous about seeing you all again as you are. Not nervous. Not a care. Just like I said. Okay, so, um, anyway. So. Alright, so we're on this ship called the Fedora. Okay, we left Earth. I forgot why. There was some stuff going on on Earth. And this ship, we're headed towards another planet. And they ended up, like, falling in this alien ocean on this planet. <laughs> <coughs> Um, he, we ended up falling in this alien ocean and we were stuck there. And so we're basically still there. We're living there and we're just like readjusting to being on this planet. And uh, now we have this like inner tube system called Old Water, which is how we like navigate through the ship and stuff. And um, it's also like giving us filtration uh water filtration and uh, electricity and all this other stuff so the ceo that's been behind all of this you're like learning that they're trying to get back to earth they have like the small gap to do it something to do with like the um like a wind a solar tunnel or something like that um but they have a small they have 89 days to do it 
and if they don't then they have to wait like 80 years to actually get back to earth but if they do it within 89 days then they can do it but also they just happen to find this alien fish in one of the filter tanks so now they just took like a blood sample of the fish and i have to deliver this transfused blood back to him so we can like save his life and stuff oh all that's happening right now oh shit where am i going shit oh yeah that's the problem moving people every day <laughs> So it's it's getting really interesting. We're in chapter two right now. <laughs> uh, the main character is so plain. Like I know he's so plain. He's so plain. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, all right, all right. Um, oh, with great power comes great responsibility. Where have I seen that quote? I'm like, that's like a, uh, that's a quote. More Sorry. graffiti. With great power comes great responsibility. Huh? Makes sense, I suppose. I'm pretty sure that's a but quote. I wish they'd think of who has responsibility for cleaning. It's taking me great power to get it off. Oh, Harold. Also, I think in the demo, we have confirmed together that Harold is on the spectrum. He got the tisms. Or as the Southern mothers say, he a little touched. So I think that's also is uh, going on with him. Why is this very satisfying cleaning this fucking wall? Did I get everything? Okay, I got everything. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Girl, I think I'm done. Let go of the sponge, Harold. <laughs> yeah! I did it. Yay, yay! Please remember, the all-water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Mm -hmm. Get snug, not stranded. Alright, let's go drop off this blood. Let's go see Fishy. That's the alien's name, Fishy. Oh, there, there they go. Look, y'all, it's Fishy. Okay, let's get you rehydrated. <clears throat> oh, fishy. Sunny is so tiring. Why does she need to know everything? And why does she make it so hard to answer? You love her. I should just ignore her or make stuff up. Sunny is his ex. She's so clever, but she doesn't really listen anyway. Does she even care what I've been doing? I know. I'll bombard her with questions. She won't expect that. Or just make out with her, it's fine. I'll ask her what she really found out after years of traveling. Or I'll ask her what she ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an alien fish. Or I'll ask her whether she's finally impressed now that I've discovered a new species. Just... Well, maybe not that. Anyway, enough about me. How are you doing? How are you finding that new blood? Too bad you can't tell me. But by tomorrow morning, we should know. Right. Time to get some sleep. Night, Fishy. Night, Fishy. Everyone say good night to Fishy. I love you, but it's time to go to sleep. Good night. Can you get him a little blanket or something? All right, let's go to bed.
I'm asleep. Thank you, Thor. What a day. I can't believe this is happening. It's exciting. And to me. Tomorrow, I'll get those antibiotics and I won't let Sunny get to me. Right. Night, night, Harold. Night, night. Night, Harold. fishy. I love Harold. I love this game. I love this game. I love this game. I've been playing for two hours. I have 88 days left. Check Fishy's condition. Never see him shower. Never see him like, you know, never see him brush his teeth or take a shower or, you know, wash his ass. You know. <laughs> Fishy? Hello again, my alien fish butt. Let's see how you're doing. Uh oh. Not so good, huh? You're starting to run a temperature. Maybe the solution was wrong. Or something is infected? Or maybe you need some special kind of fishy food. I'm guessing the stuff Cyrus makes isn't gonna work on you. If this temperature keeps up, I'm gonna need to... Drat. That means another trip to see Sunny and her questions. I promise you, I won't get so flustered by her this time, though. Mm. Stay calm, Harold. It's just Sunny. You don't have to worry about impressing her anymore. Ah! You see, Fishy? I'm okay, aren't I? Y'all, I love this man. <laughs> the drama, the trauma, the story, the love. I love Harold. I love this game. You're a good listener. Maybe that's why. He's unconscious. You can hear me. Not that you'd understand me. Maybe the sound of my voice is calming. Or terrifying. Oh god, I hope I'm not freaking you out and you can't tell me to stop. Twitch if I'm freaking you out. Okay, good. Uh, off I go. Beautiful. I love Harold. I love this game. I love everything about this. I love this. Can we go have tea? Yeah, we can't have tea. All right. Let's go to the farm, I say. Oh, look, they're going fish right there. Got a lot to do. All right, ask Sunny for help. It's gonna be awkward, but I'm gonna have to ask Sunny if she can help with Fishy's condition. If it helps them, it'll be worth it though. Mr. Miss Ives, Buddy told me yesterday that there were more letters to go through together if I wanted. It was pretty wild, and I think he liked having someone to share with them. Okay, so maybe I'll go do that. That was a lot to work. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. Water, but just end up in a lake. Okay, here we go. You know what? It's fine. Utility district. All water Utility district had the pharmacy and that guy there, so that works out perfect. We'll go read the letter. We're gonna to talk to the mailman and we're gonna to talk to Sunny. Get some more tea. All water. We get you where you're going. Oh damn, Zoya message me. No wait, where am I going? A utility district, there we go. Hold on. Hey Harold, I'm hanging around in the bar. If you fancy a drink or not, I'm buying. It'll be here. I'll be here a while either way. All right, let's go get drunk. That's 
travel in style do the important water. stuff and then we'll go get a drink unsatisfactory journey for some reason just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you okay that goes sunny all right let's go do Harold. this what do you say to reading another letter with me come on in the door's open all right come on Here we go, another GC letter. Shall we check out the next letter? Do it. Ready when you are. My little star, Adela. Adela. Sorry for not having delivered the following letter in time. I've enclosed the last remaining physical memento of your mother. Oh. It's not much, but I figure it's best you have it. Maybe you'll find some insight into your parents that will make you happy. It's the fact the mailman didn't give mail me these letters. A hard time. Dearest, I will be back soon, but in the meantime, the supply shuttle has promised to deliver you a little hello, wish you were here. I didn't have much time to write. They only brought me a new pen with supplies and going back fast. So please find enclosed some of my logbook entries, made when I had the old pen, so you know what I've been getting up to and can imagine me better. Back soon. Can't wait to see your face. Be good. Day one, touchdown. Planet atmosphere isn't great, but not too toxic. We're able to have brief periods with no helmet and equipment doesn't degrade too fast. First expedition tomorrow. Day two. Everywhere, this ankle-deep liquid. Mm. Rocky outcrops, the exception not norm, it seems. Built out temp quarters on little stilts. It's a great color. Has this rippling sheen like an oil slick, but smells of something like pleasant soap. Not a lot else to see, to be honest. Looking forward to a proper bath already. Day four. Quasi-climate seems to have enabled multitude of tiny life forms inhabiting this shallow permapuddle. You can't really see them, but they give the surface of the water this impression of fizzing. Mm. Missing B already. Sure he's enjoying the chance to sit around in underwear and not shave. Lonely here during the long nights. Have intense craving to finish that puzzle we started. B better not have finished it while I'm gone. Amazing. She was on a planetary expedition? Yep. There was only a couple in my time on the move, but apparently they were more common before I was born. Trying to find a new Earth? Wow. Yeah, but mostly it was obvious it wasn't going to be. But every now and then, one would be worth checking out, in case we could learn or get some supplies from it. I'd always hoped to get to go on one. Oh, yeah. Must be cool to discover a new landscape. What would you do if you'd met an alien? <laughs> I would have made great friends with it, shared the secrets of humanity, and then challenged it to a race. Aww. Would you have told people about it? <sighs> I suppose so. Would have been a bit selfish of me to keep that kind of thing to myself. Well, Even if... no, never mind. You know, being down here is kind of just like an extra long exploration mission when you think about it. it really is. There might still be so much to learn down here. Ah, yes. Who knows? Chin up, Harold. I'm sure you'll discover plenty of excitement yet. Um, I think I'll take a break for now, buddy. I'm done. One no a day. No problem. Come back whenever you're ready for another. We're doing one a day. Got lots of shit to do. I gotta go to the bar. I gotta tr give a tra blood transfusion to this alien fish. And okay. got lots to do. I gotta talk to my ex over here. Um, Sunny, I need some antibiotics. Uh, what for? Me? 
Oh, yes, your strange life form. How's the condition of it? Has it undergone any unexpected metamorphosis? Uh, um, not that I've noticed. It really is just a fish, and... Displays of aposmatism? Not lately. Sonny, I don't have long. C can you please just... I'm not just supposed to hand these out, you know. I know, but the professor, and it has a fever. Hmm, well, take these. They should reduce temperatures and fever symptoms. And I hope you get better soon. Not that you should be taking fish medication. I appreciate it. So, what are you reading? Oh, this? It's the new novel from Montmorency Spangler from the Physical Expression District. It's an allegorical treatise on the Fedoran post-scarcity politics. Is it good? You wow. know, it's better than his last one. Oh, Harold, we should start a book club. Um... Or maybe? not. Anyway, I'd better get back. Yes, yes, do keep me posted, Harold. For all time's sake. Thanks, Sonny. I will. <laughs> we did that. Daddy, yes! Harold still got it. Okay, he still got that thing on him. Might get back with Sonny. Uh, hello? What's the password? Okay, so we know it's not Swordfish. Is it super secret? Super secret. Bad luck. No dice. Don't bother us again. Alright, try another day. Okay, so we got the antibiotics. Uh, let's go to the Agora Arcades, I guess. Let's go talk to... Oh boy. Yeah, go to the airport. Destination okay. chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. Oh. Time is it? You've arrived. Oh. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Okay, let's go. To the old caves. Destination decided. Going to the bar. Let's see what else Zoya has to say. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Mm -mm. Oh, there goes Zoe. Zoe again. Hey, Zoya. What's up, boo? Oh, Captain at Large. I mean, Zoya. Hello. Hey, what's up, Harold? You having a great day? Oh, uh, it's not at all bad, thank you. Are, are you? Heck yes! Just swell. Oh, he drunk. But it's, it's just, you seemed so sad earlier. Oh, that? <laughs> that was just a little slump. I'm over it. That's good. I... Yep, I'm over the whole thing, you know? Life's too short, right? No one needs me as captain, so I'm just gonna enjoy life. Do what I want. I suppose that's fair enough. What will you do instead? Who cares, right? <laughs> I suppose so, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad you're feeling better. See you when I see you, Harold. I'll just be doing my thing. Okay, he's figuring himself out. He's on his self discovery he's on his own journey okay he's getting a little tipsy at the bar he's do he's doing him okay he's doing his own thing okay so we talked to zoya he drunk i don't even talk to him let's go back to the lab we'll take care of fishy destination selected <laughs> Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. That was a wiggly thing at the bottom. He's staring at it. 
You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. It's so cr like even like all water system, they controlled like the day and night cycle. Like how do we ever know it's daytime or nighttime? All water tells us so. Man, that would drive me crazy. Alright, so I'm gonna go look at fishy. Let's check them out. Hi, Fishy. I've got something for that temperature of yours. Sticky situation you're in, huh? Let's hope these do the trick. You might be an alien, but how different can you be? Can't be as different as me and Sonny. <laughs> At least I managed to ask her a question or two this time. And I don't think she suspects that you're in anything more than a strange experiment of Cyrus that I've somehow got involved with. I guess the fact that she doesn't trust me to do anything too exciting has come in handy for once. I'll check on you soon, pal. Okay. Oh, Bridget got a message. Hey, Harold. Bridget here. There's a little something I don't quite have the energy for that I'm positive you could help me with. If you could catch my drift. Come and see me in the energy harvest. Alright, well. I guess I gotta do more stuff. It is only like... It's just in the middle of the day. Okay. Energy harvest. And then eventually I need to go talk to the other secretaries, but I never know where they are. They're in the old water district though. The old water. Destination determined. Now relax Ooh. with all water. Maybe I can go to the social district and help that kid out. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Mist commences in three. Three. Wait for it. All right, what up, girlie? Oh. I'm sure you two will figure it out together. Play nice. Ah, oh, Harold, what are you doing here? Just walking by. What's up? I was just leaving Slippy and Cyrus to get on with things. Oh. Shouldn't you be looking after Fishy? Am doing. Thanks for swinging by, Harold. You remember the drill? Yep. What's the test we're doing this time? It's basically the same procedure as last time, but we're adding two new variables that Cyrus suggested in the hopes they'll have a positive influence on the bacteria's energy output. Mm. Great. What were Cyrus's variables? Playing music to them and giving them some sugar. Before you say anything, I know, I know, but Cyrus has measured both as having positive effects on his herbs, so why not, eh? <laughs> this bacteria is lucky to get so many treats. Yes, well, I'm not sure they have much awareness of enjoyment, but fingers crossed. Oh, before I forget, there are two new buttons on the console. Got it. Ready when you are. All right, let's go do it. Okay, start preparing everything like last time. We'll start with the sugar test. Chop it, coat it, and then put some sugar on it. I'll let you know once I'm ready. Do you mean we gotta pour some sugar? Oh, hold on. I gotta. Let me find a rock. Nice one. Now on to the next step. Oh. Now. <laughs> Great. Time to coat the sample. Now the sugar. 
with music. Interesting, interesting. Okay, great. On to the next step. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Okay. Now turn the music on. Okay. I did the thing. Knew I could count on you, Harold. We're all done. For now. Join me back in the control room and let's have a look at the results. Oh. Let's check it out. Okay, are we all done? Oh, look at our chair. Yes, thank you so much, Harold. I mean, neither classical music or sugar or talking softly to the bacteria per Cyrus's plant-based advice helped its mitosis ratio, but it still helped me narrow down a few variables and factors. Ah, good. Glad I could help. You know, Harry, you've helped me a lot recently. Let me treat you to dinner. Oh, it's okay. I just try to be helpful. No, I insist. Daddy, How about yes! some nice fusion food at that new place? Yeah! Well, it would be nice to eat somewhere other than the fish, fish, fish hut for once. Okay, it's settled. I'll meet you there tomorrow evening. I'll ping you an exact time later. Great. Thanks, Bridget. See you then. Okay, well, uh, let me get some clothes. We gotta go shopping. Okay, you gotta die. You gotta die. A Z A T E. A Z. Okay, time to sleep. I'm supposed to be looking for a bird. I have not been finding a bird. I go Cyrus. He's a jerk, by the way. Ah, Harold. Just the man I wanted to see. Oh, thanks. Always nice to see you too, Sai. So nice, because you've got a solution to fix the 3D printer at last. Oh, uh, but I thought... 3D printer problems, eh? Let's slip by and take a look. Oh, if you're sure, Slippy. I'd be shocked if a man like you can't figure out what's wrong. Oh, yeah. Quite so. I'm away with machines. They're just like winter sports, you know? Uh, go on? Well, electricity is like a skier, and it's all about helping it find the right route with the right equipment. <laughs> Terrible. Are you okay? I'm fine. Ha! I mean, yeah, sure. I guess I like machines, but they don't like me, eh? Ha ha! Well, looks like it's working again. Thanks, Slip. We know who to call for next time. As a dick. <laughs> Getting out of here. Alright. Go check on Fishy. We got a date tomorrow. We got a lot going on. I, um... I want to go to the All Water District and find the secretaries real quick. Oh, no, no. So just... Location nominated. Let's see if we can talk to that kid. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. We're gonna go to see if we can find that kid. Go to the old wolves to district. Find the secretaries and then go talk to Fishy. And then Thank I'll you for straight. traveling with all water. The kid is still there. Girl, are they still doing? It's been like three days. Please be upstanding or seated. Whatever you're most comfortable with in for yet? my poem entitled The Tides of My Heart. <laughs> they ebb and flow. Where do they go? Girl. The toads of my heart. I know, I want to help you, little kid. Oh. 
They're so sad. I want to help them. Alright. To Alwalter? All water. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. Oh, there goes Zoya. Welcome. Um, Harold. Oh, hi, Zoya. How are you enjoying your new freedom? Yes, yeah, so about that. After I told you who cares earlier, you know, uh, I started to feel guilty. I do care, actually. I just wish I didn't care so much. Caring is good. You have to care about something. I wish I cared more about things sometimes. I just want to do a good job. But I don't know what that is. I know what you mean. I know what my job is, but actually, I don't always know what it really means to do it well. So, I'm going to try and figure out how I can be useful. Okay, me too. Oh, thanks for listening, Harold. They're so cute. It felt good to get that off my chest. Uh, same here. Huh? Get what off your chest? Would I... the same as... Uh, don't worry, Zoya. I'm glad you're feeling a bit better. Oh, okay, I best be off. Places to be. <laughs> On this chair. Hey, Mr. Eight. How oh, are you feeling now that Warren Mr. is back? Eight. Fine. We knew he'd get bored of his gallivanting around eventually. I just hope he's learned a bit more responsibility along the way. Well, he seems to have his own business now. A mobile wiener's restaurant. Yes. Business. Still, I suppose maybe he is starting to settle down. Even if he does have to carry his business with him. Do you think you'll go see him? Hectic schedule, you know. Perhaps I'll see him around. Mm. Oh. Okay. So that's number eight. Seventeen is at the arcades. I think twenty-four is the old tradition. The old world. All water. We get you where you're going. Welcome. I am All Water Automated oh, Secretary Number One. Number one. How may I assist your All Water related learning? Bye. The All Water. Oh, hold on. Who's 24? Is this him? Oh, he gone, girl. Yeah, is this him? Is this him? Mr. 24. Oh, that's 24. Me again. Okay. Mr. Halibut, please take a seat. Oh, thank you, but I'm not stopping. A not inconsiderable mercy. I, uh, I just wanted to make sure you knew that Warren is back around. I have been informed, yes. And how do you feel about it? As you can see, I'm on duty, and it is not therefore appropriate to feel anything about or to discuss said non-existent feelings about personal matters, I'm afraid. Uh, okay. Oh, fair enough. I hope when you're done for the day, you can look forward to seeing him again. Thank you for your concern, Mr. Halibut. I will bear it in mind during my evening personal feeling evaluation session. Okay, so 24 is in the All Water District. 17 is in the Agora Arcades. And then eight is at the station. I gotta remember that. Okay, now I can go. 
Oh shit, I'm here. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, let's go back to the station. Travel in style with all water. I feel like someone just messaged me. Um, Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? <laughs> Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. This picture is really cute. Not before him. It's time to sleep. Should I go talk to Warren real quick or should I just save that for tomorrow? We should go to bed. We should go to bed. Let's Destination go. We got a chosen. date tomorrow. We hope we you enjoy your new water tube system journey. Um, okay, okay. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Right. Messages I missed. Oh, Zoya. Hey, Harold. <coughs> Would you like to have lunch with me at the restaurant? And yet, I'm on the Oh, girl. Okay, it's bedtime. Sorry, kid. Checking out fishy before we go to bed. How are you holding up, champ? Ah, same old, same old, you say? Well, hang in there. Anyway, good night. I'll be back to check on you in the morning. Don't go anywhere before then. Let's go to bed. <clears throat> what a day. Poor fishy. They'll pull through, though. I know it. But does Sunny suspect? Probably not. She's too wrapped up in her own world and whatever crazy new idea she's reading about next. I'm cruising for a snoozing. Off for bed. <sighs> what a game. Okay. 87 days left. Hey, new day, new day, new day. Before I start this new day, I think this will be a great area. It low, it saves my game. It'll be a great time to stop. We're gonna stop right here. Yeah. All right. Oh, man. <sighs> All right, y'all. Well, that is going to conclude tonight's stream. There we go. All right. All right. All right, y'all. We're going to wrap it up tonight. That was the first part of Harold Halibut. I, I love this game. I knew I was going to love this game. I knew my soul. Once I played that demo, I was like, oh, yeah. This has to be the bread and butter. Um, thank y'all so much. <laughs> Thank you, Thor. Thank y'all so much for coming in and hanging out. I appreciate everybody so much who came to stop by. If y'all are still here, please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe if you haven't done so. Um, if you want to check out the demo, I still got that stream up. I'll link it in the bottom of this stream. 
I'll link it so y'all can check it out. And I'm gonna watch it myself so I can like, get a refresher. Um, and then yeah, I'm gonna pick this up next Wednesday. Wednesdays are gonna be like my YouTube stream days. So I'm gonna pick this up again next Wednesday. Another stream. Same time, I'll make sure I get a nap in earlier. So 6 p.m. next week. Um, we'll pick it back up. Thank y'all so freaking much. I love and appreciate y'all so much. I'll see y'all in the next stream. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Hold on, one more. I love you, but it's time to go to sleep.